Hi, welcome to my channel Ruby Net Crochet Tejido. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to knit this gorgeous hat. It's very easy to do. I already made a set for a kid's size, this one. And by combining different colors, it looks like a total different stitch. I absolutely love it and I hope you guys like it and give it a try and here is the list of material you're gonna need to make it if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe and click on the little bell that way you get a notification each time I upload a video remember I make my videos in Spanish and English if you receive a Spanish video and you want to see in English go to the main page of my youtube channel then you'll find the English version and the hat is done without any uh, border for the brim it's done like this with a stitch from the beginning this is the um, diagonal rib stitch it's a two by two rib to net to pearl but it's done in such a way that is in a diagonal position for the stitch but it's stretch a lot and it's absolutely gorgeous you can make this with a uh, blended yarn you know different color or you can do this in one color you can use leftover yarn but remember if you are making the neck warmer for the set you need a little bit more to do the same uh, colors in both the neck warmer and the hat to make this hat I'm gonna use these three color yarn they are from Luthan Thread impeccable medium 4 100% acrylic 127.5 grams each the color of this one is dark charcoal this one is true gray and this one is pale gray so I'm gonna use the combination of those three color if you like you can use two color or you can use one it's a beautiful stitch and it will look beautiful any way you make it any color you choose the netting needle I'm gonna use just one size usually I use two size for my hats but this time I'm gonna use just the 4.5 millimeter shagu with a short cable you're gonna need a round counter to count the round of the hat because it's a round repetition but if you don't have a round counter you need a marker to mark the beginning and end of the rounds and a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil to keep track of your rounds you're gonna need tapestry needle and scissor and if you want it to place a pump on the top of the hat you can place one or you can do it without one like this set is the set that I'm gonna make for adult but for adult gonna be uh, three color so when I made this neck warmer with the color I absolutely love the way it look and then I decided to do one set for adult but with three color you know like a green color start with the dark the lighter and the lightest lightest and the top because it's absolutely gorgeous and um, for the adult set we don't want to do a border one by one rib for the hat we're going to start exactly like this until we have the desired length and then close it in the top because when you fold this to create a brim it will look amazing because this stitch is a reversible stitch and that's what we're going to do for our set I'm going to start with a slip knot and to do the slip knot this is the tail this is the yarn from the ball and I'm gonna wrap that one on top of the one that go for the tail I'm gonna hold it here move from the finger, create a loop like that and grab that working yarn I call the working yarn the one that you're gonna work from the bow so you pull that one and you create your slip knot that's the easiest way to do a slip knot plus your needle and you have your first stitch of 85 so you're going to start, you cast on until you have all the stitches. Now if you are working with a stray needle, you want to make this with a stray needle because you don't have circular or the one that you have the cable is too long or simple you don't like to work with circular, then I recommend to try because the work is nice and even, you don't get that seam. I'm going to leave the link here of the stitch work with a stray needle. I already did a video, it's like this. So you can do a hat and a neck warmer with a stray needle. You just have to sew the two ends together to make 
a circle. So if you are doing this with a straight needle, cast on 84, go to the link of that video, I'm gonna leave the eye here, you're gonna see it, you click, you go there, you work those eight row repetition, and you continue with those eight row repetition until you have the length of the hat, and then after you'll do the decrease, as I'm gonna tell you as I work, and then when you finish, you sew the seams, and then you'll have your hat with a straight needle as well. But you have to cast on 84 if you are working with a straight needle. The 85 is just to close the circumference. The same for a neck warmer. You can work with a straight needle or circle. So I will meet you here when I have my 85 here stitches. Here I have my 85 stitches. Now I'm going to close the circumference. You're going to make sure that this is not twisted. The stitches on your needle. They're all facing the same way. And now you're going to slip the first one from the left hand needle to the right hand needle. You're going to hold it here nice and tight, that way it don't fall off. And you're going to lose that last stitch that you did. And when you pull, try to pull the strand closest to the outside because that is pulling from the ball of yarn. And then you pass it over and cast it off. You pull again that strand and we'll make that stitch smaller. And you flip it over. And here you're going to grab the two ends and you're going to do a very tight knot. Let me close it first before I tie. Because if I don't do this, it will be a little bit loose. There, it's nice and close, nice and tight. Sorry, I was off camera, but I was just doing a knot. A very tight knot between the two ends. Now I'm going to pass the last stitch back to the left hand needle. I'm going to place the marker and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to start with the stitch right away. We don't want to do any brim or any border, just right away with the first round of the stitch. And this is a very easy stitch because what you're doing round one, you're doing two. What you're doing three, you're doing four. What you're doing five, you're doing six. And what you're doing seven, you repeat on eight. So it's really a four round that you repeat each round twice. It's very easy. So you're going to start with two net. And two pearls. Two net. And two pearl. And you start with two net. And you finish with two pearl stitch. This stitch is multiple of four, just in case you want to do this smaller or bigger, that you're working with a thinner yarn, you just have to cast on multiple of four the stitches. So you're going to continue like that until the end, that you're going to finish with two I finished round one for two, it's exactly the same. You're going to start with two net, two pearls. Net two, pearl two, and like that, you're gonna continue at the end. You're gonna finish with two pearl. And if you're working with a straight needle, you have to guide yourself by that link of that video. But uh, round one and two, and row one and two, and a straight needle are exactly the same. The only thing that changed between circular and a straight needle is round three and four. And seven and eight okay the rest stay exactly the same circular or straight so I'll meet you here for round three I finished round two I'm gonna work in three and three we're gonna move the stitches to the side that way we'll create the nice diagonal uh, two by two rib so you're gonna start with one net and you're gonna finish with the net so you're gonna do one net two pearl two net two pearl just by changing the beginning and end stitch, you're changing the position of all the stitches. So you're going to start with one net, and then purl two, 
and then net two, purl two, net two, purl two. And at the end, you'll finish with one net. So by just moving that stitch from the beginning to the end, that net stitch, you're just changing everything all the way around. I finished round three. Four is exactly the same repetition. You're going to net one, purl two. And then net two, purl two, net two, purl two. At the end, you'll finish with one net. For five, you're going to purl two, net two. You want to start? Purl two. And net two. Purl two, net two. Purl two. At the end, you're going to finish with net two. So you start with two purl and you'll finish with two net. Round six is exactly like five. You're going to start with two purl. And then two net. Two purl, two net. You're going to work the stitch as you see them. And you start with two purl, and you'll finish with two net stitch at the end. Now for seven, you're going to move the stitch again. So you're going to start with one purl. And then you start two net. Purl. Two net, two purl. At the end, you're going to finish with two net and one purl. For the last round, that is round eight, you're going to do the repetition of seven, exactly the same. You're going to work the stitches as you see them. You're going to purl one, net two. Purl two, net two, and those are the eight round repetition that you're gonna do over and over. It's very easy. Any beginner can make this hat if you know how to net and purl. You can make this because the only thing that change is the position of the stitches in round three, and in four you repeat exactly what you do in three, and in seven you change the position of the stitch and you do the same repetition in A. So it's a beautiful stitch and very easy to do. So I finished round 8 and those are the 8 round repetition that you're going to do over and over until you have the desired length. If you're going to fold the brim around 9.5 inches before we start the decrease and depend if you are uh, working with one color the entire hat, you'll continue working until that length. Now if you're going to change color, you can change color every 8 round repetition when you start round um, 1, you change to a new color or every 2 rounds that depend on the color combination that you want to do your hat. So I don't want to show you again those 8 round repetition because I've been leaving here each repetition what you have to do for each round so you can follow that and for changing the color, I'm going to change, I show you how I'm going to change to mine just at the beginning of this one and then from there you can change yours. I'm going to start with the true gray a stripe and then after that I will do another stripe of the charcoal and then after the charcoal I will do true gray, light gray, charcoal and so on. So I will show you the repetition as I go but first I'm going to work one of these, one of these, and another one of this one. And now that I'm going to lose the tail, I don't want to trap the this one too far because when you fold this, it will show in the right side. So you have to be careful with that when you lose your tails. So you have to lose the tails when you fold in this part of the brim and the outside of your hat, not in the inside. So I'm going to net the first one with the next color holding that one in here you see 
this one's under, this one's on top, you're going to net the first one. And when you're going to net the second one, you will pass that strand of the charcoal in between the two tips of the needle. You will wrap this one around the needle, you lift that one and pass the new yarn through it. And then you can leave that one there, you can cut that one because we don't can leave that long tail to bring it up because you will see it so that tail you have to lose like I mentioned in the right side of your hat finish with that one for now and I'm going to continue with the true gray now I have to do two pearl so I will do repetition of one until eight and then I will change again to the charcoal and then to the true gray and then to the light color this is what I've done so far and I did one repetition of the charcoal, one of the true gray, and two of the charcoal. I'm going to do another one of the charcoal because when I fold my brim, I want to see some of the charcoal in here. And you see it's still a little bit lower than the front piece because this will be the full part of the brim. So, and then two of these. I'm going to do one more and then I will change to the other colors. I just wanted to show you the progress as I work. And so far I absolutely love the texture of this stitch is amazing and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to continue working and I will show you the hat. This is what I've done so far and it looks like this. And I'm working the end of the hat with a lighter color. So when you fold this it will look like this but last night I did round six and I forgot to change from five to six in my round counter and today when I grab my work I repeat that round six again so I have two round six here and instead of six and a seven I have two round six so when I start working in seven I realized that my stitch was changing you see if you look at here I have more nets and it's supposed to be like this you see you hardly see them because they blend in and when you have extra round it will change the design of the diagonal rib so I frogged a little piece of seven so I have two round six here so let's say at two round six I'm gonna explain with my finger that way you can uh, understand I'm working now round eight and this six I'm changing to seven so I have one six I'll change this the seven and I'm working in the eight <laughs> it's easier to explain with the finger that way you guys <laughs> understand so now with a crochet hook I'm gonna show you how to do that because the good thing about this mistake is that this is a teaching moment just in case it happened to you you will know how to fix it so I'm going to zoom in a little bit to show you a little bit closer how you're going to fix as you work so in round 8 that is the one that I am working you're supposed to repeat what you did in round 7 so I have my two pearl here this one I'm supposed to repeat what I did in the round before but this one since I made a mistake I have a pearl I had to change it to a net my first stitch of the two net I need to change so I'm gonna drop that stitch and I'm gonna pull that strand out and then with a crochet hook I'm gonna pass to that stitch underneath in that loop and I'm gonna grab it from the back to the front and I create a net stitch I'm gonna place it back and I'm gonna net two Now I have to do two pearl, but you see, this one's and I make the mistake. I have a net and I have to change that one to a pearl. You can drop that stitch, pull it out, bring that strand to the front. I got stuck in here. And make this one bigger. Just pull that. And then from the back, you're going to pass your hook in that loop with a strand in the front this time. You see? You're gonna grab it with a hook and pull to the back and place a stitch back to your needle. And you create a pearl or you crochet hook. 
Now you're going to purl two. And again, maybe for you it will be easier if you grab your hook and go to the lower stitch, pass your hook, remove that one, fold the strand. You see, your that way you don't lose your stitch if you've never done this before. And then you pass the, pass the strand to the back. You pass the strand that you, the stitch that you uh, drop, you pass for a net to the back for a purl and the front of the stitch from the row around before. So you grab that one with the tip of the hook, pass it to the front, place it back on your needle, and knit two. Now you see, if you don't fix this, your stitch will change completely because you see the length of this net. It has an extra row and it's visible because this it will go more straight and don't gonna blend like the rest. You see the difference. The stitch look more straight in here and this one look more in the diagonal uh, rib. So again, maybe for you it will be easier to place your hook and the row round before and the stitch below of the one of the uh, needle. You drop that one, bring the strand to the front because it's a pearl. You bring it in front of the hook, you grab it with the hook, you bring it, pass it to the back, and you place it back into your needle. And you create a pearl. Now you're going to pearl too. And let's say by accident you drop two stitch instead of one. I'm going to show you how you're going to fix that. So in here, let's say one, and you have two strands. And then you're going to grab that loop and make it bigger. That way you don't continue, you don't continue losing more stitches. And then you have to do one pearl, one net, because this is the pearl ones. Okay? So you make that one bigger. You put your finger there to hold it if you want. You bring the hook from the back to the front again and pass that first strand to the front of that stitch and you bring it back and you create a pearl. And then now the other way around, you move your hook, pass the strand, you know, holding it with your finger to the back at this one to create the net that you're supposed to do. And you place it back. I hope you guys can see well what I'm doing and understand as well. These are little things that is good to know just in case this happened you drop a stitch not only in this hat but in any project. So net two and then now in this net I'm gonna drop two stitch that way you see how you can fix the net and create a pearl. So from the front, the easiest to fix are the net because you put your hook to the front, grab the strand that is in the back and you place it to the front like that. And then now you leave that one there, you pass that strand to the front of the stitch, you come from the back and you, you see, I don't know, with the needles in there, you see you pass it to the back from that loop and you place it back in the needle and voila you can do your two pearl now one and two and like that you can continue fixing the problem if you have some more like me I had to go all the way until the end of this round the good thing about netting is that if you drop any stitches not only in this project you can fix it with a crochet hook even if you don't know how to crochet it's good to have a hook to fix your netting mistake. So I will continue and then until I have my desired length to close the top of the hat. I'm going to show you how you can fix it with the tip of your netting needle as well if you don't want to frog the entire round. But I'm going to show you how to frog an entire, not entire round, but a few stitches. That way if you need to frog some stitches. If it's a net stitch, you go to the lower stitch, 
pass it through the left hand hook and undo the stitch and then you pass it back to here the same to the next one and for a pearl you bring the yarn to the front you pass through the lower stitch and remove the stitch and go to the next one and do this that's how you're gonna frog a few stitches or the entire round if you want to do that instead of doing what I'm doing so I'm gonna show you now how you're gonna can fix it with the tip of your netting needle if you only have a few stitches to fix so this one I had to change to a pearl and the same I drop the stitch now I bring the stitch to the back and with the tip of the needle I'm gonna pass through that loop make sure I don't grab any extra strands and then with the nail or your finger you're gonna bring that close to the open space and then you're gonna wrap and bring it to the back pass it to the needle and you pull the stitch and the next one and this one I have to net so I'm gonna do the same drop the stitch bring the strand to the back pass the tip of the needle through the loop and you have this in the back you wrap bring it to the front place it with your needle make sure that you don't have any extra strands and then you net the stitches and I had to change this one to the pearl I will show you the last one drop that one I show you the, the two different ways that you can fix them with a crochet hook or with your netting needle or you can frog the entire round <laughs> so a different uh, choice you see with a strand in the front because you have to do a pearl you bring it, you wrap and bring it to the back like this and then you place it back to your needle and you pearl that stitch now I'll continue I'm gonna measure and if I had to do more I will do more repetition so this is what I've done so far and I mentioned to do nine and a half to ten inches long for the length of your hat but that depends on the width that you want to give to your fold for your brim so mine I want a little extra wide that way it keep it nice and warm here in Canada for winter so when I fold this I want a little bit of the charcoal to show in the border like so so for that I had to do a little bit extra for the top of the hat because when I measure before I measure like this you see a smaller brim but I want nice and wide it look really really nice I try around and I just need a little bit extra for the I top work for of the 11 hat. inches on total I did one repetition in the charcoal one in the true gray three of the charcoal one of the true gray and three of the light gray I did round one and two now I'm gonna do a first round of the crease and I'm gonna pearl two together and net two together pearl two together and net two together and like that you're gonna continue all the way until the end of this first round of decrease pearl two together net two together after that round of decrease you're gonna work the stitches as you see them you're gonna pearl one you're gonna net one pearl one net one and like that you're gonna continue all the way until the end at this round and you have to be moving the stitches because you have fewer stitches and it's a little bit more difficult to work I okay. finished that round I'm gonna do another round of decrease now it will be a little bit more difficult because you have less stitch and the cables are a little bit longer so you have to be moving the cable out a little bit and the needles so we're gonna start the other way around this time you're gonna start with two net together
and you want to purl two together. You see I had to pull the stitches out of the needle a little bit in order to do the stitches. Purl two together. And the two together. Purl two together. And like that, you will continue all the way until the end of this round of decrease. I finished the last round of decrease. I'm not going to decrease more because it's a little bit difficult to do the decrease with so little stitches and the cable. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 stitches left. I'm going to cut a strand long enough to pass twice through here and secure it in the inside, and then I will lose all these tails. I'm going to show you how to lose this tail and here you have to bring it to the outside and lose it through the outside because in this part is the one that you're going to see like this and you don't want to have visible tails on the right side because this wrong side will be the right side when you flip your border. Now lose that tail in the inside and then I will show you how to do the ones by the brim that are the one visible.
So the same way that I showed you how to lose those two tails, you see, this will be the right side, you don't have a seam, you will pass the true gray to the outside and you'll lose that tail and the true gray. The charcoal, you will pass it and you lose it in the charcoal part. And this one, this tail, you will lose in the right side as well. The rest of this tail, you'll lose them in the inside because they're going to be in the inside of the hat. That way when you fold your brim right side out, I'm going to show you where I lost those tails. You don't want to see any seam in that border. So I will do that. I will sew the handmade tag and I will show you the end result. Well, this is the end result and I absolutely love, love this hat. is my favorite stitch well you can tell by all the projects that I'm doing with it because I can I don't have can have enough of this <laughs> it's amazing for next week I'll be making the neck warmer or cowl for the set with this hat so if you want to make the set next week it will be here and with this stitch you can make hats you can make a scarf you can make blanket you can make neck warmer you can make sweater it's endless what you can do with this gorgeous stitch. Uh, this hat could be for a man or a woman with this beautiful color. This will be for myself. I absolutely love it. That's why I'm making this set. And I hope you guys like it and give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and you make the hat, the neck warmer or any of my design or any of my stitches or any of your projects and you want to share your pictures. You can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Nelly Crochet Tejido, or my Instagram, Ruby Nelly Crochet Tejido. Please share my video with friends and family. That way you help me grow here on YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.